Hello, my name is Andrew Perkins and welcome to part 6 of my Laravel tutorial. In this video we're going to continue working with uh, Eloquent to learn how to insert new data into our database. So we're going to need to create a new page which is going to display a form so that we can enter in the author's name and biography and then submit that form and it'll be saved into the database. So to start out we're going to need to create a route for that URI for the page that's going to display the form. So let's go into our text editor and we'll open up our routes.php file and we'll scroll down here and we'll add another route. I'm going to use the route class and its get method and the URI I'm going to make it um, authors slash new so this will be the URI that you can access the form to create a new author and then we just need to give this route a name so we'll set the as key and I'm going to name it new author and then we need to set the uses key to map this route to a controller in action. So I'm going to map it to our author's controller and the new action. So now we just need to create this uh, new action in our author's controller. So we'll go to controllers, open up authors.php, and I'll create a new function here. And we'll prefix it with the get HTTP verb since it's going to just do a get request and our action is called new and then this action just needs to render a view which is going to display a form so we'll just return and call our view class and its make method and we'll tell it to render a view under the authors directory called new and then we just need to bind a title variable to the view this is the title of the page so this is going to be add new author there we go. So now we just need to create our new view file. So under views, authors, create a new file here and save it as new.blade.php. And we need to tell this view to use our layout. So that's the layouts directory and our default layout file. And then we need to create our content section and then just end the content section here. And so I'll create an h1 tag and we'll say add new author. And let's just test this out and make sure we can get to this page. Um, let's create a link to it from the index view. So under views authors open up index.blade.php. This is our uh, index view file so we'll just create a link to our add author page. So I'll create a p tag here and use the HTML class and its link to route method to create a link to a named route. And our route is called new author and the link text will be uh, new author and that should create our link for us. So let's go to the browser and we'll refresh our index page and here's our new author link and if we click it we get our new author view page. So now we just need to create the form here to create our new author. I'll just switch back into our text editor and we'll go to our new view file and we're going to use Laravel's form class to build a form for us. So we'll call the form class and it has a static open method to create the uh, opening form tag and the first parameter is the URI that you want the form to submit to. So we're going to have it submit to authors slash create and then we just need to pass in a second parameter to tell it to do a post request. Now we just need to create a text input field so that we can enter in the author's name. So I'll create a p tag here and we'll use the form class and it has a label method to create a form label and you just pass in a string for the name of the label and then you can pass in a second parameter of the text that should appear on the browser, like next to the form element, the actual label text. So this is going to just say name. And then I'm going to put a BR tag here to break the actual form text input down onto a new line. And we'll call our form class again. And this time we'll use the text method to create a text input and then you just pass in the name of the field. In this case it's going to be name for the author's name. And then we'll just duplicate this. And copy it. 
and I'll paste it and we need another one for the biography so I'll change this over to bio and then change this to biography and then we'll change the text input to bio as well but rather than doing just a single line text input we're going to change this to the text area method so that it creates a text area field for us now we need a submit button so I'll create another p tag here oops there we go and we'll use the form class and its submit method and you can just pass in a string of the text that you want to appear on the button so we can say add author and that'll create our submit button and then lastly we just need to close the form so we'll use the form class again and its close method there we go so that's our form we should be able to go back to the browser and refresh our new page and see our form so we can enter the name the biography and here's our submit button now if we would try and submit this form just click the add button we can see we're going to get a 404 error because we haven't actually created this route to respond to author slash create nor have we created an action to process the form yet so we're going to need to do that we'll go back into our text editor and we're going to need to create a route for authors slash create so we'll go into routes.php and we're going to create a new route here so I'll call the route class and this time we're going to use the post method since this route is going to respond to a post request and our URI was authors slash create remember in our form we told it to submit to authors slash create and so we'll pass in a array as a second parameter we don't have to give this route a name because this route is only ever going to be requested from a form a form will submit to this we will never actually create a link to this route or redirect to this route so we're not going to give it a name uh, but we will set the uses key to map this route to a controller in action so we're going to map it to our authors controller and a create action so we'll save our routes and let's go into our authors controller to create this uh, create action so into authors.php we'll create a new public function here and we're going to prefix it with the post http verb since that's the uh, request we're responding to and the name of our action is create and now in here we can process our form so we just want to now save whatever they entered into the form into the database so that means we'll need to create a new author so we'll use the author model and we have a static create method and we can just pass in an array here to create our author we'll use key value pairs the key being the name of the field and the value being whatever you want to insert into that field so we're going to set the author's name and then we just need to grab whatever value they entered into the name field of our form so we can use the input class and it has a static get method and we can get the name field this will grab whatever value is in the name field of our form and insert it into the name field of our new author here so similarly we'll want to set the biography so we'll use the input class again and its get method and get whatever they entered into the biography text area field and so this will create our author for us and save that author into the database so after the author is saved we now just need to redirect the user back to say the index page and then give them a success message so let's do that so to do a redirect we're just going to uh, return here at the bottom of our action and call the redirect class and it has a couple of methods to do a redirect with um, we're going to use the to route redirect method and this will redirect to a named route so we're going to redirect to our authors named route that's our index page and then we also want to send the user a flash message uh, a flash message is just a one-time message uh, the message is stored in a session and we can print out that message and then after that request the message disappears so it's just used to give a one-time uh, kind of like a status update or status message so in this case after we save the author we'll redirect them to the index page and give them a flash message letting them know that the author was created so to send a flash message with your redirect you just use the with method and then you need to 
uh, give your flash message a name. So this is a way that we can access it through the session class. So I'm just going to call mine message. And then the second parameter is the actual message itself. So we'll say the author was created successfully. And then I'm going to break this down onto a new line since it's running off the page there. So there's our action. We now need to just make sure that we're displaying our flash messages. So I'm going to display my flash messages inside of my layout. That way, if I ever want to have a flash message appear, it'll work for any of my views. So I'm going to go into layouts and open up default.blade.php. And right above where we yield our content section, we can use the session class to check if we have a flash message. So we'll say if and use the session class and it has a has method and we'll check to see if we have that flash message and then we'll just end the if here so if we do have a flash message we're just gonna create a p tag and then we can use the session class and its get method to display that flash message now I'm going to use a little inline styling here to change the color of this flash message so I'm just gonna set the text color to green. That way we can separate the flash message from the rest of the content on the page to see it a little better. So that should display any flash messages that we get. So we'll save this. And so with that we should be able to go to our browser and create a new author. So here we are on our author's new page. Let's refresh this to make sure we don't have any errors. And let's enter in a new author. I'll create my author as Robert um, blah blah and let's give Robert a biography so we'll say Robert blah blah is a really good author and then we should be able to hit add author and it should save Robert into the database for us there we go we get redirected back to our index page and we have our flash message saying the author was created successfully and we can see Robert blah blah here now if we refresh you can see that the flash that the flash message disappears as it's only available for one request and we should be able to click on Robert to view him and there we go so that's it for this video on learning how to insert new data into the database in the next video we'll learn how to validate the data before it's sent to the database so I hope you found this helpful and thanks for watching